So I'm sitting next to Captain Tillon here in Kanos, which part of Kanos? South Kanos. And all my bags are full, every single slot. I've got these these fangs to hang in, hand in, and I can't even do that. Uh, on top of that, if I hand in any more fangs, I'm afraid that the other guards will go threatening. Uh, the corrupt ones, at least. Dubious, dubious. And the good ones are apprehensive. Well, I've got these gems. Ooh. This is bad. I've got these gems. Moonstones, yeah. I've got a hand in right across the way. Let's hope I don't die. So yes, this is Dalen75 Games, you're watching another Project 1999 EverQuest video. I am playing Astasian, my Dark Elf Wizard, currently in Chaos. A little afraid, I, I saw a couple threatening NPCs on the way in earlier. I think I'm going the wrong way, am I? Do you, do you go out this way? Okay, I need to be in first person view to see all the ones that will <laughs> attack me. I don't think that there is any... They're all apprehensive. What's that? That's a threatening mob. He just ran by. It looked like a player, actually. I have no invisibility, otherwise I'd be using it, of course. Ah, damn it. Um, I thought I'd, I just had to run past the way. Maybe I do, but I need to recheck the map. Uh, I haven't played this character in probably about three weeks. It was this one. Apprehensive, that's okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I need to go here. Yeah, these guards should be okay. One is even to me. One's green. That's crazy. Anyways, these are the non-corrupt guards, I take it. Okay, Barthol. I have a feeling I'm going to get killed. So, not the biggest deal, but I have to go south, and then... Uh, so, I don't think it's... Yeah, turn here. I don't think it's guards I have to worry about. It's the other NPCs. What a small little home. Probably shouldn't be poking my head into places like this. Okay, so it's one of these. Sewer rat. Different. One of these two places. I'm looking for the fish's ale or whatever it's called. It's a pub. I should turn the volume up so I can hear people coming. Just target the guards in case. Apprehensive. Find baked goods. So that's not the fish's ale. Where the hell is the fish's ale? Here it is. So I'm looking for McNeil Jokob, I think. Ah, that dude's yellow and he's threatening. Who's wandering up to me? <laughs> oh, it's the stupid rat. Okay, so I don't think I can go inside of there. Uh, the two threatening yellow guys right at the bar. Sounds like it could be turned into a joke. Is there a different way around? Okay, Sansa Joka, which I believe she probably runs the place. Either his wife or daughter. She's just apprehensive. That's fine, but those two guys will murder me unless I was like level... 12, and if I had to defend myself against them, that may not be a good idea either. <sighs> yeah, there's no way for me to go in there. Those two guys are... Or one guy is... T Trumpy Iron Toe. He's threatening to me. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> uh, this dude might kill me. He's apprehensive. <sighs> Why did I even come out here? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Well, it's no drop. I'd have to, you know, the best thing to do, obviously, is come back when I'm level. Um, that's not the guy that just ran around the corner. It's a different name. It looks as. Oh, no, it is the same name. Okay, well, the best thing I should have done is wait till I was actually like 16 and then come in here and invisible. Uh, and just deal with the idiots that want me dead, however, I can get past them or kill them if need be. Yeah, but killing them is going to make my rep worse, so... Fire prides. I don't remember the exact way in and out of here. I do know I have to be careful. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's apprehensive. This is the bank not there? Yeah, what am I doing? You're probably saying to yourself, why don't you just gate? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with all my items if my pack are full. <sighs> Wish I could just <laughs> return ho home and maybe go to uh, West Common Lands or something. You know, it's, it's not really, it's not an easy place to, to go to if you're... Your faction is really bad. There's, there's a blue mob up here. I have to be careful of some kind of monk warrior. So these are the good guards. I'm clicking on myself. I don't know what guard wanders out here. Apprehensive. But he's yellow to me. Okay. Anyhow, I want to make a better video. F oh. Fippy Darkpaw. Maybe I'll get some good faction by killing him. I want to make a better video. It's time has been... I got XP off Time has been really not on my side in the last uh, week. Week and a... Week and a, a few days. Actually, a whole week and a half, yeah. Uh, because before... Today, I hadn't made any videos in that... About a week and a half. For anything. Period. So... Well... <sighs> All these stupid moonstones filling up my pack. Well, it used up something. Food, I guess. I've got one spot. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I guess I could just go and get experience and pick up coin inside um, the Black Burl. That's the only thing I can think of right now. I, I just gotta get levels. I'm 72%. I'm close to level 10. So yeah, a bunch of stuff has happened in the last week and a half. Uh, my mom came down. I haven't seen her for over a year. She came down and saw the kids. Her grandkids. And uh, me, of course, and my wife. So there was that. And then the day after that, Fallout 4 came out. And uh, I was really hooked on it. I'm still hooked on it. I haven't played it today, but um, play as much as possible. And I was playing it. See, the problem wasn't Fallout 4. It was Fallout 4 in combination with my one-year-old son, which has made it hell to sleep, because I would try to go to bed, and he would just, I mean, he's 13 months old, basically, so he's, uh, his bed, his crib is in our room, and we're trying to get the mattress out of the spare room that we have, it's supposed to go to my wife's sister for her niece, and, um, didn't really, is, uh, she also wants the room painted, so we're wait, I'm waiting one step at a time. I can't paint the room without everything going out of it, so. Oh, blue bat. Dubiously. Weird. So, um, yeah, I'd go to bed at like 1, 1.30, and then he'd be crying. Uh, especially when my wife's working at night. That's is brutal. Uh, he wakes up because he wants breast milk. It's, he doesn't really like normal milk. He likes breast milk, so. Really nothing I can do to help there so if my wife's at work. Little little fire dot goes and hits. Whoa, just two percent, six points. That's kind of nasty. Well, let's see about rooting it and then unload. Just a blue mob, man. I thought it'd be easier in this. Yeah. So uh, there's been there's about three nights in a row I didn't go to bed till about after four a.m. So he we are he's still in the middle of sleep training. My first son it took about ten days and he was perfectly trained. This one has been several months. I just have to just go up and thwack this guy. Not every kid's the same. They're not little robots, so they'll have their own personalities. This, my uh, one-year-old, is very, very stubborn. More stubborn than anything. Like he will just flat out refuse to do it. Anything you want him to do, uh, if he doesn't want to do it. So, yeah. So there's that, and um, I just either try to go sleep on the couch or I, I'd come and play Fallout 4, so there was that and just uh, staying up late playing the game. I think I stayed up once I, once till 3 a.m. and then once till like 2 a.m. But it it's not been terrible. It's not like I haven't slept at all. It's just that when, over a week, if I don't get proper sleep, I, I really get worn down. Like, I can't even think. Not even I'm not safe driving. <laughs> just cannot think clearly. That's how my, I work for myself. 
think I need to go med. So, Will-O-Wisp is... Oh, I thought that they're level 9. I am level 9, am I? Yeah, it says 9 there. I thought Will-O-Wisps are level 9. Weird. That dude's threatening. Yeah, so I haven't made any any videos at all, and I wanted to get one out in the weekend, but uh, with no sleep, and I actually miscalculated the day my wife was working. So she was actually working on the, the day on Saturday when I was wanting to uh, make videos. So at least one video for this this game. Well, that didn't pan out. So uh, no, things have kind of been screwed up in the last uh, last week, at least. And yeah, I really do enjoy Fallout 4. I'm not sure why some people don't. I, I know there are people out there. I mean, I, I follow Total Biscuit on YouTube. He personally doesn't like the game. It just doesn't do it for him. The guy's wandered past there. A little, little uh, scary. I'm gonna hide. So I take it he takes a path at Blackboro's down there. He takes this path up there. I don't know if he goes right to the place or not, and then comes back. Where's hide, by the way? Here. Second button. At least I have that. No, I, I don't know. I just think that unless I'm here with somebody else or a group, it's not really... I just need help to get, <laughs> to get in and out of the city. There's nothing I can really do on my own. But yeah, as I... Uh, my head's still a little mushy, even though my sleep's gotten a lot better in the last few nights, so... And I made... I've just, just worked out, and I've made... Uh, videos earlier today for my other two videos, other two games I'm still making videos for on my channel. So yeah, um, Fallout 4 is a great game. I, I love it a lot, so I'd recommend it to anybody if you like any kind of RPGs. Uh, it's got Apparently it's got a really good story compared to previous Bethesda games, which were uh, kind of just simple plots. It's uh, well written, a lot of characters are well done. And um, I thought the combat is better, and I really like the uh, the way that you can basically mod all the weapons. Like you start out basically nothing, right? So you have your simple pistol, and you can modify it. If um, just with basic skills, you can modify it to a certain extent, and then you can pick like pick like a gun nut um, perk, and then you can modify it. There's four levels of it, so there you go. Obviously, you're going to get better better um, mods to add to your weapons. You can make silencers. You can make uh, just, just crazy stuff. There's like hundreds of different modifications that you can add to your weapons. And you can do the same thing with your armor as well. Power armor is now like a, a vehicle that you get into. Uh, you kind of stand and, and pop right into it. I, th I think that's really cool. Definitely different from previous um, Fallout games. Large rat. Well, let's go see Go look in Blackboro. Yeah, I'd hold wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone. Uh, even people are starting to hear about games like I mean, because ba games are bigger than any other industry, any enter entertainment industry. So people are hearing about games and not really knowing what they are. <laughs> but they they all hear about it. Here's that guy. I think he probably just one shot me with. Was he have an axe or is that a club? Kind of looks like a Flintstone club. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah, just wandering around and kind of exploring and, and picking stuff that you want to bring back home to... to uh oh, and then there's the aspect, the, the thing you can do, like building up your own little uh, little colony. I put walls all around mine. I have machine guns and you put guards in the guard posts. You sign people there. That one's green. I'm just having a lot of fun. Ernesto. I take it he's kind of camping these things. These are all greeny. We'll go inside. So I can't just blame Fallout 4 because for the delay in my videos, I had to. I didn't put up any videos at all on my channels. It's today's Wednesday. I haven't put any up at all since. Uh, well, today I did, but I haven't put any up since Saturday before that. Smiggly Wits, corpse. 
So is there a lot of people here? Because there's over 1,200 people when I logged in. It's actually not. It's not a lot of people. 12 rogue, one of them, somebody's anonymous. Six ne necromancer, and then there's me. Well, I don't fully remember how to check this place out. An old guardsman. So he's yellow. I just want blues, really. Is, how you is this how you go? I think this is leaving the zone, is it not? Or is this going down? Scrawny knoll. This, this goes down. Yeah, I think I'm level 31 in, in Fallout 4. And I've spent... I think I'm like 30 hours into it. I put a lot of time into it. It's one of those games for me that really don't come out too often where they hook me until like sleep, who cares, you know? Till it till it until it matters. Um oh there's lots of mobs. So as as I'm playing it and losing sleep, I'm still having fun. I mean I, but I'm so my mind is just all one track. I gotta play Fallout 4, I gotta play. And I, <laughs> hard to do that though. Like I have to get time in while I'm looking after my my kids as well, so I can't do that when, when they're here, when I have to look after them. Uh, well, single come. I don't know. So I've been losing sleep. It's one of those games that really hooks me, and that, to the the point that it is, like, losing sleep as it has been, I haven't had a game do that for me for years. I, I can't tell you when the last game it was. So it's something that I personally really look forward to. I cannot see in target. So, uh, the other one might come. No. Firebolt. What the heck was that? Please don't have somebody underneath the ground attack me. There's no line of guys coming after me. That guy's dead. I won't have enough mana to do the same thing, so I'm going to hit him with Firebolt and then just use my staff. So yeah, if you're thinking, oh, that stupid Fallout 4 game, well, think differently for me if, if you were missing the video that you thought should have been put up. Uh, it's something I look forward to, so think of it as something that Dalen 75 Games actually had that was making him somewhat happy. Okay, so here is the area I, I'm pretty sure that it has been that uh, like crazy that um, when I go up there or pull something from there I get a whole line a train of them that are like I don't know how they do it it's weird but I was getting hit from underneath I guess and then when I went elsewhere in the dungeon there'd be like six or eight of them that would just suddenly pop on me really strange but this game is known for not being perfect especially with its uh, Pathing issues. Pathing issues have really been cleaned up, I'll tell you that. They're not like what they were in Classic. I remember people having a heck of a time with their pets walking around like corners and they would just keep going in a straight line <laughs> and pulling trains. That time that happened in Miss Moore is the, about the funniest moment that I've ever had in an MMO where the guy, we were like going to the graveyard and like uh, some magician. I don't know why some people, they don't really do it today like in Project 99 today, but I remember back in Classic, people would create a pet at the entrance or whatever, and they just take try to take it with them wherever they go in the dungeon. But <laughs> it's kind of silly if you ask me, but that's what happened, and there was some guild raid going on, and they his pet went aggroed, I guess, the whole castle, and brought everyone onto the 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 guild and that was raiding at the time, and yeah, there was a lot of ticked off people. <laughs> oh, the memories... And then there's the thing with the trains. I've brought this up several times before. Why are there no massive trains in, in Crushbone or in uh, Black Burl? Like, the trains are insane. Almost constant, all the time. It's like the mobs, there's only half the mobs that there used to be. I don't know. I don't know if I buy the idea that people just were stupid back then, didn't know, how to, didn't know what they were doing back in 99 to 2001, because it's the time I played myself. I, I kind of think that the game had slightly different mechanics. Either it had a faster spawn time or there was just a lot more mobs that were spawned. I do know though if a lot of mobs are being killed 
over and over again that the spawning time does increase um it decreases so they they spawn more often it's on the wiki somewhere if i remember reading it right and crushbone i spend a lot of time crushbone not so much black burl but crushbone a heck of a lot Siskin, a 12 rogue. You can probably hear my kids upstairs making noise. 86. So I'll be able to stand up and take these last two guys down. It's actually not a bad spot. It's kind of weird to be camping at below 10, though. I'm pretty sure that'll be a rusty rapier. Well, the, the, um, the last video I put out was... Uh, the downer video, the Heroes Kook Request, with my uh, Shadow Knight, Hixar Shadow Knight Terex. That, I really got burned out from that. I spent just about every day, quite a few hours a day, uh, trying to level them up. And then getting into the dungeon itself, which was really stressful. I think I got burned out from that. I spent about two, three weeks trying to get that five necro. Well, that's a six. Um, well... I'll group with them, but I think the other mob, the other gnoll's gonna come? Yep. Oh, we got a patrolling. Oh, patrolling gnoll's not good. I'm probably gonna die. Just go down, buddy. Oh, he's blue. That's not bad. Okay, maybe I have this. Awesome. Yeah, I do have this. Three blues, real fast. Tougher than I thought. Look at that. XP, XP. All from soloing. Rusty Rape here. On a wizard. I was afraid that patrolling knoll would be even or, um. I don't know what that's for. I don't have. I've got one slot. That's not even saying I do. Okay, I must have filled it up somehow. I don't know what I did fill it up with, but. Yeah, I was kind of burned out from that. So, let's go camp. I need to rebuff myself, I think. Where is it? Um, lesser shielding. Probably didn't need to target myself. Some blue knolls over there. still wants to attack. Yeah, burned out, so I actually haven't played in a few weeks. Uh, I did hop on the next day after I put the video, I finished the video, and play as uh, Sarkis. In, I was in um, City of Mist. Not the easiest place to get a group at times. Sometimes easy and quick, and other times it's kind of painful. Oh, this is a little, oh, kind of awful. I'm getting like 2% <laughs> per kill. I think last one was 79%. This since then, it's 81, which is pretty terrible, actually. On double XP weekend, I was getting 2 to 3% with my Shadow Knight per kill. Although I do kill things well, 10 times faster here. Yeah, I miss... I, uh, I think I'll always miss that kind of character. The Shadow Knight. When I went over to Dark Age of Camelot, and I don't remember the name of the class, but it was an Albion class. Uh, kind of have like a flail. You can drain life from your opponent's... That was really... When it, that class came out with the expansion, I really, really liked it. It wasn't really an Elb player. It was more of a Midgard player. I always kind of gravitate towards the evil races for some reason. Not that any of the three factions are evil. I mean, it's kind of funny that I can actually trace my ancestry to all three. I'm, you know, I, I'm a quarter Irish. I'm an eighth Swedish, which is Midgard. Scandinavia is kind of like the Midgard area, and Irish would be Hibernia. And also, I'm half, 
half English and an eighth Scots, Scottish myself. So I kind of informed all three realms. But Midgard was my, my favorite. Then I would say Albion. I never took to Hibernia. I don't know why. I just, no, I wasn't thinking leprechauns and stuff like that. Although they may have had that in the game. I don't know. The lore was kind of just a hodgepodge of, oh, it's they have an Ireland. Let's throw it into Hibernia or <laughs> whatever. It There was nothing... Of course, it's all myth, but they didn't try to actually build, like, real fun, tie-together lore that makes sense. It just kind of threw everything together in it, as far as I know. Now, there's there's no books to read in the game. I just, it's just, you get the lore, basically, from the quest givers telling you what they want in their story and why, and, jeez, I just remember running on my damn horse in Albion's, um, the one that... You, you pick, you you pay for it to transport you like a taxi. Just for tons and tons of uh, running around. That's what I remember in that game. I haven't played that since 2003, that game. So yeah, I, I am fully aware that there's a, a server like Project 99 up. Uh, several people have told me about it. Brandon Childers 100 has also talked about it. But uh, yeah, I just... <laughs> Guys, if I had all the time in the world, you'd see a thousand of these these videos every month. So I, I just don't. I don't have the time. And if, if there's any kind of hiccup in my life, then everything in my channel kind of gets, you know, I have to put it on hold. Like, uh, especially when I went in for surgery and then I had my migraines and that all lasted about two freaking months, almost two months. And uh, stopped making videos for over a month, I think. So, don't really have a choice. Uh, life comes up. You have to do what you have to do. I still made... I mean, <laughs> when my son, my last son was born, he was born in August, the last week of August. He was six weeks early, so... He was supposed to be born last month, actually. But uh, I still made videos. I had videos coming out all through it. It was for Dragon Age, and I put out the occasional Project 99 video as well. And uh, putting out several a day. Still did it. Uh, wife's in, was she was in the hospital for almost three weeks because uh, yeah it's high risk pregnancy so they're really monitoring her and um, her blood pressure was really really bad so I also I would have spent a lot more time with her personally but I had my son to look after my older son he would have been three three and a half at the time yeah so first uh, first rule is always your kids if you're any kind of parent. <laughs> oh, I've been 100% for a little while. These guys have not spawned. Whoa, what the heck? It's automatically ducked down. So there's a scrawny knoll over there. Is there two scrawny knolls? So all the scrawny knolls are green. There's a guardsman, he's even. I could probably take him down. But I, I'm also afraid of going over there. Oh, an elite knoll guard. I wonder what level they are. Probably like 12 or something. If I go over there, I'm afraid I'm going to get all those guys on me. Yeah, that's not a good idea. My cell phone is buzzing. Oh, Brandon Childers followed you back. Oh, I've been <laughs> I've been following uh, you on Twitter for a little while. You finally noticed that. <laughs> I have like no Twitter. Master Brewer. He's red. I have like no Twitter. I like that he'd make number six. Um... I don't know about Twitter. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do about the Master Burger either. Certainly can't take him. Oh, yeah, I was going to see about. Um, oh, oh sh shut up, grouping. Zero, zero, C. <laughs> um, ninth Wizard. Okay, not cool, guys. Going through doors. I don't approve. And I don't approve of resisting root either. Okay, so let's try to take one on a time because otherwise I'm just crazy. Stunning me.
try to get this guy down as fast as possible. He won't run because he's got a buddy that's also in the fight. Oh, I think he resisted. I think I'm getting hit by more than one. Yeah, what? Unless this guy's throwing stuff at me. Come here. I think that was a waste of mana. Yeah. Still getting hit. Uh, I may die right here. Especially if my attack's not on. So that's always cool. Can really use that group out right now. Okay, time to actually start hitting. A little better. Hitting him more. Ooh, except for that one. Well, he won't run, period. My root spell is worn off. I guess he was still rooted. Hit. Hit like there's no tomorrow, because there might not be 5%. I'm almost dead. Well, he's a 4, or 5, 6. Hit. 1. I can still die. Oh, wow. 1%. And there's a tooth. I don't think I need anything else. I need to quickly loot. Any gnolls come by, I'm dead, even if they're green. I would like to target a knoll so I can find out if my hide is working. Yeah, how come he's able to hit me when he's rooted over there? Bloody bug game. I can see if he's throwing stuff at me. But he wasn't. Okay, so let's start using up some bandages in my invisible state. I've got... 71 bandages. Blind wound. It's really kind of poor at this, this level. But I've got so few hit points it may not matter. I really think I need to get into a group because this XP is awful actually. Oops. That's not what I wanted. I'll give a tell a schnozzle. <laughs> Funny name. Are you still L Elf L F G slash? Because question marks are so yesterday. Well, he was asking for a group earlier. That ranger would be good. He'd be a, a good meat shield for me in here. Tell Padus. Come on, I'm doing a video here, guys. Help me out. Yeah, I really think I need to be level 60, and then the point of that is for the Null Fangs, the, the only thing I can get out of it is faction, which kind of defeats a lot of the purpose of it, because I think people do it kind of more for XP than faction, although some people I can see doing it for faction. Okay, time to sit. No responses from either, guys. And Ernesto is way too low for me to group with level 4. That's kind of low to even be in here, actually. But who knows, like, Kuzo could be power leveling him. Unless, he w was he in here earlier? I think he was, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, so I need a bit of a break from from this game. Uh, I don't know, like, I just don't think I have time. I if I had no kids, then yeah, I, c I could join a guild. I just don't really, I really don't have time. So, and I'm gonna have to at some point, maybe in the springtime or summertime next year, take off uh, several months, actually, maybe at least two, probably three. And I'm not sure, I might still be able to put out Project 99 videos, but I don't, I don't think I'll be doing anything else. 
Um, it, that's not permanent, that's just temporary, of course. Um, the heart of my channel is still this game. About half people are here, or, or just under half, just for the game. But uh, I think when people sub, they kind of... I'm just here for Master Brewer, and I'll be leaving. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if you come kill him. If I could just come and do quick videos and not anything really um, time consuming like the last video, then yeah. But I, I wish I could join a guild. I just don't have the time to commit to it. And one thing I really hate is grouping with people on my level and then not being able to sh log in as often as I want. Then suddenly within two weeks they're like 10 levels above me and a month later they're like 20 levels above me. Yeah, I just. No, I, that's what tends to happen when you can't put in the time. Okay, I've got someone coming to help me take him down. I don't know what level he is, this... Um, this guy here. Kudius? He's a non, so I don't know. He's blue. That's fine. I, I just don't want to see a red coming in and killing all the mobs around here. They would do it just for the no fangs. Because it just kind of means that I get no kills myself. Which is something that also... I had a few frustrating days in a row uh, in the OT with Terex, my Shadow Knight, trying to solo for experience. The bards just come in and, and take just about every mob. And when I hit, what was it, 44, just about half the mobs were green. And I was only targeting blue mobs. And then 45 is even worse, so less than half. And if I kill the, all the, the blue ones, then there's really just greenies left. So it really was kind of awful. Um, what happened? I had one... St I have to say it, because I even called him an idiot. Um, stupid, stupid bard. He, I had no warning. He had two goons on him. I was just finishing a mob up in my place where I go in the Wraith Mountains. Um, you know, like the, up the hill to Wraith Mountains in the OT. And in that, that channel in between the mountains, it's, you, you get to uh, zone into Frontier Mountains. So he came right there, right when I was killing a mob. Right on his tail. Two goons. He stopped, he got killed himself, and then the goons were on me. I couldn't get away in time. I was trying to feign death. Um, I was in panic mode, so I screwed up. I still had my attack on, and I didn't get another chance, so I died. I was really ticked off about that. So unnecessary. No call-out, nothing. Just all I saw was him standing there looking at me. And I, I text, I messaged him, what the hell was that about? And I said, you died. You, you just cost me 45 minutes of my time. Actually, I think it turned out to be more than that because I was waiting for a res. And, um, and 50 gold, mind you, which was just... Uh, wasn't a requirement for it. A lot of the people who want to charge you for res is they said like um, two, three plat per level, which in your 40s it actually comes out to be quite a bit. So, anyways, I sent him a message and he said he stopped. He knew, saw that I was there and he was trying to warn me. <laughs> but And he said, yeah, I didn't know the, the goons were on me. Okay, fair enough, whatever, but you're still an idiot because you just took a lot of my time. I, th I've never in my life done anything like that to any player. So I was mad about that. Uh, then, uh, this this guy is... I may be able to take him on and try it. Then I had another bard. It was like the very next day. Kind of root him. Very next day, so... I'm soloing mobs, same place. I'm rest... That may not be good. Why did you run that way, you stupid, stupid knoll? Well, it's going okay. So I'm resting, recovering from a fight with Terex, and then all of a sudden there's like ten, at least ten mobs on me. And I'm up the hill, <laughs> where it shouldn't have happened. And I know what happened is a stupid bard went and died, and all his mobs just kind of fanned out. And he died really close to me. I didn't help you, I don't know what... 
That's that. That's about. I think he thinks I helped him. And I was just lucky. That was one of the situations where I was. I got through at like five percent into the Frontier Mountains. I was low on health. I wasn't full health to begin with. Okay. Okay. So you guys can see through walls, but I cannot cast through walls. Not good. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm doing the uh, the run where you run sideways. Uh, I'm not gonna make it, especially with all these guys on me. Well, there we go. There's no train. Can I hit train again before I die? <laughs> I know exactly where I died. I tried to get that stupid knoll. Jeez, I'm saying stupid a lot. Bunch of messages on my phone. That's the guy that fights me, attacks me, threatening. Okay, let's go. Need to get my spells back. And I just wasted the last. Uh, how many kills would that be? Like four kills? You know, the chance of me getting a res are slim to less than zero, so it's not going to happen. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. There's like a very, very small chance somebody will bring a high-level cleric into there. <laughs> but you know what? Under 20, it's kind of a douchebag thing to be waiting. Uh, unless you have contacts. If you have contacts, like in your guild, or have a friend that can come and res you, that's, that's another thing. But even then, it's kind of a waste. I should be grouping with somebody. Uh, I did try right before I died here, but... Yeah, so I had all those, those mobs. I mean, I just made it away, and then... There was several times, um, I should probably just get my spells here, on several days, like they, it's like, holy crap, my son, youngest son is loud right now. If you go out, start playing early in the OT, like in the, the morning, I guess, where there aren't too many players, it just seems like bards think that they own the whole place, and they'll take like just about every mob, like when they swing by, they have like a hundred plus mobs on, on them, and there's like six mobs left for me, and they're all green. I feel like saying... I actually petitioned that. I, that ticked me off. So, not impressed with that. And I just had it after a few days. I, I uh, called out in the... I was talking to the OSC. After, especially after that one where it chased me out and I just barely made it from all those mob, mobs that the bard died from. What the heck did I have here? I don't remember. Gate... I really don't need anything else. Let's put this here. Well, oh, it takes a long time to put on my spell list. We had like Fade, Shadow Step, just to have spells up. Fingers of Fire, I think that's... Is that an AE, I think? Yeah, so I was really frustrated and I just started... When I got back in the zone after I was chased out, I was just uh, venting my frustration on OC. Several people agreed with me that it is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I'd have to punch that skeleton. That may take a couple minutes because I have no weapon, no skills, and, uh, unhanded. Unhanded. Cut off my hands and fight. That'll be something to see. And hand to hand. <laughs> So I'll be running back. I'll try to get my corpse, and uh, I guess I'll be right back. Sort of talking with ZK for the moment. I'm back. Oh. This guy asked to fall. He can't even get experience with, with me. Tell Ernesto. Yeah, he's level 4. I'm 9. Got a scrawny knoll coming in. You can have that scrawny knoll.
Yeah, you took took my mob basically. Oops, sit. Need to hide again. Whew, excuse me. Yeah, I had that. Uh, I also had. Like I had, it was like four days in a row of just crappy experiences with with uh, bards. I I petitioned one, and I actually was told to um, send them a tell, uh, obviously politely, and I did. And he, he, the guy said, "Okay, I'll leave leave you leave you some mobs." He said, "Sorry about that. I didn't know anyone was there." And that's fine. If they're like that, that's fine. It's just the ones that ignore you or act like. Uh, douchebags like they reply to you like well who, who are you to tell me basically some people think that they can take whatever they want but I really think that uh, the GMs have been cracking down on uh, bards in the last at least the last year in certain zones other zones they they allow them to I think oh not Ocean of Tears um, Lake of Ill Omen I think they are allowed to to do uh, that stupid thingy train thingy that they like to do it used to be like they say well it's the only way for bards to get experience because they have the 40 percent xp penalty but you know what i never had sympathy for that because i was leveling up and um i was higher level with the 68 percent xp penalty than some of these bards so i really really don't care about them complaining about that the xp penalty and now that there's absolutely none for them they have really no that was just an excuse before but I don't hate bards. I, I hate what a lot of bards do. I don't see why they can't just group with people. They make awesome group mates. I don't know about Endgame, but I know before that, they're really good. They can mez, they can uh, re uh, regenerate health, they can regenerate mana, they can do a whole bunch of stuff. And they, they actually can be um, tanks for the group, or just supporting tank, off tank. But like I said, everything kind of, 50 plus, everything kind of gets nailed down into certain, well, you're a ranger, you have to do this. So you're Shadow Knight, you're a warrior, you have to do this. And there's no deviation from it. Okay, so, same guard. <laughs> We're going to try this again. And this time, when he comes to me, I'm going to try to draw him out. So the douchebag, my word of the day, doesn't do what he did. Why? I don't think the last hit, uh, last one I shot at him, I don't think it worked. I need to turn around and see what these gnolls are doing. Okay, they're not going my way. Ouch. I think I'm better off hitting this guy from a distance. There, that's better. Probably get another shock of ice. Yeah. Oh, and you're still on the fight. Okay. Wow, he hits pretty hard. Not again, buddy. Not again. Got a bit of a recovery to go through now. 80%. No doggies. What the hell does that mean? Oh, he's talking about the gnolls. There's probably none on the top or wherever he's looking. Hide and bind wound. You must target a player. Now I am. But I had a no, a no. I had a bard do something really cool for me. I never had a bard do this for me. I never even heard of any bards doing it. But of course they can whenever they want. He uh, joined, had me join his group, and it w wasn't one that I don't think I had a problem with. This is probably the day that I went into Dalinar to finish up the video, or the day before. I'm not sure which which one. I think it was the day before. Yeah, because I was 44. So he had like 50 mobs chasing him around. And he wanted to me to get the experience off it. So I did. I He leveled me up. I, I was probably like 91% towards 45. 
and uh, the experience came pretty quick. And then he looted them all and, and shared the, the loot. Not bad. Um, he did die, though. <laughs> he said death, deaths happen so often for bards, you just get used to it. It's not a big deal. But he must, he must get a crap load of experience because... And he said he had a small train. It was below 50. He said he can get trains up to 150 is what he was telling me. Easily. Which is really crazy if you think about it. How many mobs are you taking from other players to, to do that, really? Because they can have for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes as they're running around trying to use their, their weak, uh, discordant, whatever, song on them. <laughs> I remember back in Talon Zek, it was the team server, I did have a low-level bard, and I had that discordant song, and I was on the boat, and I was next to a, a was I playing, like a half-elf bard? Or, ha um, I think it was half-elf, may have been a wood-elf. Anyways, I was on the boat, and I had the discordant song playing, and I was next to a barbarian, and it was actually taking down his health. But I didn't want him to get upset and petition me or anything like that. I was really, because you hear about these things happening left, right, back then, left and right. So... I, I stopped it. I took him down to like 70 per, or 80 percent or 70 percent and I just stopped it. I'm like, uh, I don't want to get in trouble for this because it was kind of, it was an exploit on the boat. He can't fight back and my song shouldn't have been able to damage him. No doggies. Doggies are all dead. Oh, 50 monk. <laughs> Especially the 50 monk killing them. <laughs> it's probably say, I'm not killing any of them. I'm trying to level up or I'm just passing through. Level up my friend or just passing through. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it if, if you're kind of under 20 and you're doing it. but And then some people... <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I have to really stop myself from causing problems like that because I just, that's kind of my personality. I get a real kick out of just kind of like stoking the, the hornet's nest with a stick or poking it. Um, <laughs> especially now that I have a channel and all this will get back to me, but... <laughs> Like, uh, oh, what was the name of that bard? I forget. I think I talked about him like a year back on one of the team servers. I don't think it was Talonzek. I think it was Ralosek. Just the crazy madness that he did <laughs> exploiting. Because um, he couldn't PvP. He couldn't get into PvP till level 6, so he was <laughs> his bard in, in the uh, Oasis. Um, Oasis. <laughs> Not killing anything near the top. Yeah, I knew he respawned. <laughs> Anyways, the bard was in Oasis and he was training all the darkies. <laughs> With, they couldn't attack him because he was below the level. He was like level 5. Um, so... <laughs> he was training sand giants on the players. It's just really, really cheap. I think this is before Kunark. I'm not positive though. It may have yeah, I'm pretty sure it was before Kunark. So, I don't think that, um... What's that big name, Sand Giant? He wasn't out there yet. But anyways, he occasionally got caught by the Sand Giants and was killed, I think. But he did a pretty good job. He, um... The, the players never killed him. They couldn't, obviously. But they did actually try training... <laughs> oh, here's where my mob was, Scrunno. They did try, um, training other Sand Giants on him, but it never worked. And they actually, Sand Giants turned and killed... <laughs> Like the ogres or trolls or whoever was trying to do that. But he actually, he got a lot of petitions against him and eventually called out. He was banned for a while, I think. I forget his name. But he came back with the ultimate zone disruption exploit <laughs> possible as a bard. I don't know how he did it, but he he uh, and he had pic so many pictures of this. Um, he charmed the priest of discord. <laughs> And had it attack all the... It was a small race. He was in River Riverdale or Rivervale, whatever it is, the Halfling homeland. Home. And he was killing everybody in there. <laughs> oh my god, man. 
<laughs> the priest of discord is nothing to to laugh about but he was he was like murdering everyone it went on for hours and he had all these people um <laughs> he was also acting like a crazy role player like he was doing this because they were e the other side were evil and he had to kill them so when everyone would any time anyone texts him he would just respond that you're you're evil i have to kill you or something like that <laughs> Just cra overall craziness, what this guy was doing. And I'm not sure if he was banned again. He did get the GMs come after him, though, for that, of course. And he got in trouble, probably got some warnings, but it was funny while it lasted, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go into the place at the time. Yeah, I, I just think things are like that are funny. I don't know, zone disruption, just because you can get away with it and... Yeah, as people get ticked off with what you're doing, I guess that's kind of the fun. <laughs> I've never done any zone disruption myself, but I do laugh at stories of what other people have done. I th I'll never forget one of the funniest things I've ever seen was in Star Wars Galaxies. Just within like the first week of it launching, I was there, and uh, was in. It was on Corellia, I think the planet Corellia. I think it was the, it was Coronet, the capital of the planet. Where the hell are you going? And they had this class that could tame wildlife, and like it would grow, and it would grow to like epic size. <laughs> it would grow to be like taller than the ceiling, and you can have multiple versions of them, right? You can have like four or five of these pets, something like that. I don't know if that the numbers right. And they were just like these giant freaking alien dinosaurs. <laughs> the guy, these couple people had them lined up, and then they had them fight each other. <laughs> And I just, bur I was laughing, because it was like an earthquake. The whole ground was shaking, and now here I was trying to make transactions with the NPCs and sell my stuff, and, and it was like like this. And then you just hear, like, this, these two giant alien monsters fighting, and <laughs> the noise that it made as well, and the ground shaking, like, it went, the radius from the ground shake was pretty far. And it just went on for, like, 20 minutes, just doing it over and over, okay, with one pet loss, and they're just, like, having a... Duels with each other. I thought that was pretty hilarious. And people were saying, what the hell is going on? And people were complaining in the zone. But I thought it was pretty damn funny. So I don't know. I, I don't know why I find these things funny. I just do. I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world who does. That's another even. So I'm going to make sure I am 100% for that. For this guy. So maybe I'll just uh, pause the video and wait. Okay, back. Like another thing that really made me frustrated is that I did die as well. Uh, was it was probably the same day. I don't remember what I died to. That time may have been my fault why I died. Yeah, I think maybe a tiger had, had taken me. Because tigers are really tough, um, comparatively. Okay, so I'll go after the snow guardsman. Yeah, so that's, that's also really didn't help how ticked off I was. Um, being chased out was not helping my mood. I got reses for both of them. I just lost a lot of time. Thankfully, uh, one cleric res me for free. I had no money on me after the first res. Such a funny... I wish it was a great big fireball. Instead, I get this tiny little flare. Good work, if I do say so myself. Ah! I have beer upstairs. I'm going to have beer after this video. Coronas. I'll have a couple Coronas. Some Knolls. I cannot take both. Actually, I might be able to if I'm lucky with my hits. But I don't want to try that. This one is not fully hidden yet. I'm hearing the music. It's really kind of low. And my headset's plugged in. <laughs> I've done that before. I've like recording my head. I have a headset in my head, but it's not even plugged in. So <laughs> you probably hear that. My alcohol tolerance is too. And it's weird with drinking in real life. I could sometimes put away ten beers and be fine. The other times I'll put away like three beers, and then the next day I'll be a massive hangover. It's so unpredictable. I don't know. What's going on with that? 
let's just say I uh, I don't I'm not a big drinker. I don't I like occasional beer, maybe a couple beers a week, maybe twice a week, a couple beers each time. But if I'm hanging out, we're at, we're having like one of our D and D games. My friend actually texted me. I haven't uh, really had much to do with him for about, about two years. Um, kept in contact. Saw him last year. Went out for coffee, but. He and his wife sp are split at the moment. Um, I kind of feel bad for him, but... It's one of those kind of people you have... When you have kids, they no longer really want to have contact with you, so I don't really... I feel bad for him, but it's... Whatever. I love my kids. I don't regret it. He wants to start up another group. Uh, what is it? Oh, 5th edition D&D. So I'd have to buy the 5th edition. I have 4. 4th and 3.5. And 3.5 and 4. But I don't really think 4th edition, if any of you guys know about it, it's just... They really tried to make it more like World of Warcraft. At least, at least that's what a lot of people are complaining about. And it didn't really translate too well. It's got a lot of weird rules where... At least with the levels that we played, I didn't see any higher. Like, clerics, you don't... They don't heal you. <laughs> you don't get heals from healers. What you do is you have the ability to get healed so many times a day per rest. So not hidden. And when they go to heal you, they, they use that. And I, that's not really a heal. So you, you can only be done so many times per before you have to rest again. I don't really consider that a heal. So, like, you, you do get more of them as you level up, but it, still, like, if you only get eight times you can get healed before a rest, eight hour rest, then, yeah, it's kind of limited. But regardless of that, it wasn't bad. I, I, I really like playing with people. We had, um,. Of course, my friend's in the RCMP, and he's got a... <laughs> almost everyone's a cop. <laughs> I was like, one. it was just him and his wife, and like three other guys. All the guys are police officers. I'm like, ha <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, here I am, drugged up on my medications, because my, my back, my spinal injury. <laughs> Drinking beer, don't even... Don't even know half of what's going on anymore. But, yeah, I'm not taking medications like that anymore. So uh, I've kind of stopped doing that, unless it's really, really painful. And being on meds every day is really awful, awful thing to do. Though there's times when I do need it, but it's not a feeling. I it's just I don't enjoy it. Of course, it's just ugh. So I'll go and I'll have some beers. I don't know why this guy didn't come. But we have fun. We there's a little bit of role playing as we play, but not really much. He's more there to have fun. It's all, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just all there for the fun. Um, of course, that's what it's for. But with little role playing, and I guess it's just kind of more min maxing. But it's it's more about the adventure and, and adventure with friends and. Or acquaintances and whatever. I'm gonna pull that scrunny knoll. Ha! Well, I would I could say I'm doing it for null teeth, but that's not really why I'm doing it. Or null fangs, ski turds. Nineteen <laughs> percent. Springfield. I take it my uh, hide worked that time. I think. Yeah, because he's looking around for me. Weird. Ass turds. <laughs> oh man. These people and their names. Bastard. I would like to target a mob. Can't, can't. None are in the area. Just to see if anyone porting out in the future. Just, just to see if my hide is successful. I'm pretty sure it is. Electrostatic. There's. Yeah, it's indifferent. They probably think I'm gone. Well, these are green. Green to me. Well, I'm 
kind of late in the video to be getting into a group. I'll uh, lesser shield myself again. <laughs> There's no. What do you call an Astrid? She's green. Oh, of course. I hope you get both of them on you. <laughs> get out of here. See, I would never come up and just take someone's mobs like that. You can say, oh, it's a dungeon, no one has mobs. Well, I kind of looks like I'm camping here. So she was trying to pull. And I don't know why she's green and these are blue, so she would obviously be at least a level below. Is a shaman? Fairly, yeah, she'd have to be shaman, because there's only rogues and warriors and shaman for barbarians. Yep. I would have hoped both of them came. Hide. Not a nice thought, but then why is she doing that to me, you know? That's kind of a dick move. I'll be back when I'm at 100%. Some wait, some reason these gnolls are just going. I don't think so. I don't know why. Why did they just leave? Huh. <laughs> Interrupted. I may get the scrawny gnoll on me. Yeah, it comes. Not a big deal. I get all gnolls. All the gnolls. Hey, you're not dead yet. I thought I killed you. Shaka ice this gnoll. One more. Oh, good. Oh, one more. One more. One more. Perfect. I can deal with this. He won't run. I would like to get next level, but where this is going, it might be another half an hour. Hey, it just hit. Should be easy. I doubt I'll get experience from this guy. Nope. Guards of Kanos. Merchants of Kinos. I know I've read this before, I forgot. Um, okay, so, I mean, eventually the guards are going to like me, I hope. <laughs> well, mathematically, it's impossible for them not to, because it's on a scale. Number scale. Oops. There's an ole over there. Scrawny knoll. And different. 18 fangs, but I can't really do anything with it. Oh, a lot of players come through this way. There's 11 players in the zone. These guys... What is his name? Yab and Springfield. Yab 7. Springfield... I, I don't see Springfield. Oh, there he is. 7. They're both 7. Oh, well, they got themselves a giant snake. Yeah, I think Springfield's a new player. <laughs> Maybe not new to the game, but um, he's obviously not twinked. Static. I don't know what these guys are doing, but my mobs are going to spawn soon. 
I guess I'll take out um, take out another group and then that'll be it. The video. I'm sure it's over an hour now. Music's kind of irritating. All the music in the game gets repetitive. The only one that I really don't mind, I guess, is, is the... <laughs> some people probably hate it. Um, the Kelethon one. Just, a lot of it just because of nostalgia. I mean, it was the first in-game sound that I, or song that I ever heard play, so... It's weird, it's kind of, I remember when Dark Age of Camelot first came out, the sounds, just for anything, like bird chirping, anything, um, music was really limited. I'm not sure if there was music when you f were in combat, there might have been some kind of tune. But everything was like, there would just be like absolute dead silence, and then you'd hear a bird chirp. <laughs> and, and not a very good bird chirp. I really think that Mythic was on a really tight budget when they first made that game. I'm not sure if they came out with anything before it, but... Um, then, like a year later or so, maybe two years later, a year and a half later, whatever, they uh, put in-game sounds, may have come with the expansion or after the expansion, like in-game music that would just play. And it actually wasn't bad, it was like a guitar sound uh, playing in the background, like a, kind of mellow guitar. But yeah, I remember when that game first came out, there was a lot of stuff like, there was no armor over level 25. So yeah, I really think they were on a tight budget. <laughs> they just kind of put things in afterwards. And then they made... Uh, geez, uh, Warhammer Online. Which was okay. In ter success, I think it was just... they EA gave Mythic 100 million for the next, for a WoW killer and, and it failed. I'm not sure. I think it had about a million subs at peak, and then it just kept dropping, dropping, and dropping. And I heard a few months back that it was shut down. So, and um, EA kind of merged, not kind of, but they merged Mythic with Bioware, so it was um, Mythic, or Bioware Mythic for a while, and I don't know, I guess Mythic is gone now because I haven't heard anything about it. But I remember Bioware saying that they had hope for Warhammer Online, like they thought they could do something with it, but of course they could. But it was the game was a little, very limited, and a lot of people complain about the um, just how how kind of broken the classes were, or some were overpowered, and there was a lot of exploits being used, like uh, bright wizards were using. So I've heard people say that the destruction exploited a lot, but I I didn't see any of that. I just know that the other that the uh, order exploited a lot very frustrating to deal with. Okay, when are these guys spawning? Fingers of fire. Here's a knoll up there. It's pathing like it's normal, so I'm gonna hit it with a firebolt. Why are you watching me? Electrostatic watches my vids. It's also why it pays not to badmouthing people. I will badmouth you if your name is Ass Turd, though. <laughs> or was it Ski Turd? Ski Turd, yeah, and then there's an Ass Turd. Um, yeah, I'm... It's just my pet peeve. No stupid-ass names. <laughs> the only name that I ever peti really petitioned on this game was the guy who had the name Dickhead. <laughs> Literally. Literally, his name was Dickhead. <laughs> I petitioned that, and they, they actually changed it. Within minutes, I, I got a response. Response from the mo um, whomever. Whomever it was. <laughs> Uh, I really enjoyed the cook request. You also uploaded all two hours of it. <laughs> ha! Thanks. Oops, I don't know how to spell today. You were in this video as well. That's actually not a bad name, Electrostatic. Not for role playing wise, but it's not like I role play in this this game. 
<laughs> Sweet hi, mom. <laughs> Come on, one more mob. One more mob. I wouldn't mind getting back to Sarkis. I'd like to group... Or not Sarkis, Terex. I'd like to group with them. Chew people up. I think that people see him... Like, he's level 45. I think they see him in City of Mist as kind of low. They would see him like more as an off-tank. But, like in the video I made... The one before last in City of Mist with him, he was 43 and the there was a 44 and 45 uh, warriors in the group as well. And the 45 warrior was t doing the tanking. So, I mean, I don't see why I can't. They probably have a little bit more defenses than a Shadow Knight would. Okay, where are the mobs? These guys haven't spawned in a long time. Unless this guy was coming down to like take him a place. I don't think that they do that. That would just be too cool. He's land swimming. Do I have that? Do I have glimpse? <laughs> I have something like that. I know I do. Glare is glimpse. Okay, come on, glimpse. Uh That's as far as I can glimpse, but yeah, he's land swimming. It just makes the pixels bigger. You don't actually see further. <laughs> well, I mean, I can kill this greenie. I hope he gives me experience. Why don't you guys come and kill him? I don't want him. Yeah, it's going to be really hard, uh, I think, unless I get more videos, I have to make another one of these this Saturday, and then like one video each for my other two games I have. Unless I do it this Saturday, then there will be another hiccup next week. Um, but I, there's no way around it. I'm going to, first priority will be Project 99 on Saturday morning, but um, yeah. It's just because I haven't had any... Uh, chance to really make any other things because of Fallout 4 and my son caused me no sleep really I don't know about you guys but I it always takes me like a week to kind of recover from days of not sleeping well so like head wise like my head just isn't isn't cleared yesterday was brutal first day of, of decent sleep I didn't make anything then I was planning to but I, I couldn't and today uh, I'm feeling a lot better but Okay, these mobs are ridiculous. I'd go and, and kill that mob. I guess maybe I can go look up here. Scrawny Knoll. What about this one? That's a Scrawny too. And then there's a Gold Knoll Brewer. Oh, he's yellow. Forget that. <laughs> uh, you're just kind of funny how small you are. Come on, Knowles. Well, I don't think they're, they're going to spawn. And unless I want to make a two-hour video out of this for me to get to level 10. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. I, I need to get going, though. So I'm going to end the video, guys. Sorry if I kept you waiting here to see me kill another mob. But we'll... Uh, I just might make a guide video this next Saturday and make it quick. That's my plan anyways. Depends. I'll think about it. But we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.